have had my gifted Tinko Floor One S3 for a good couple of months now, and I'm going to be completely honest, TLDR, it's fabulous. I have not really many complaints with it at all. So following the short introduction to today's video will be some various shots of some surprising films that I have ploughed this through and then we'll come back to the present where we shall chat a bit more and double check about any of the things that have come up from the footage that I have previously filmed. So let's have a look at this surprisingly popular hard floor washer. Yes, hello my vacuum cleaner chums and Tinko fans, how are you today? Yes, I'm still here with the Floor One, it still works absolutely fine, use it every day, it's very good. However, obviously in my first video we just unboxed it and turned it on and that doesn't really show us anything. So, let us start by going back to after I filmed, or possibly even during me filming that first video, where we get it set up and find a place for it to live. Now for the last couple of weeks since it arrived, while I've been doing these videos, it's just sort of sat there in the corner of the room by the telly. We need to find somewhere more permanent for it. And that place is here, in my hallway, where the Tinko Pure One S12 and my currently still broken haven't had the new part yet, they've not even been dispatched, Dyson V11, and it, yeah, it's sort of become a bit of a dumping place, that big box is full of Mila stuff from Mila Week that I've been meaning to sell, and haven't, and none of that really needs to be there, and the Tinko Floor S3 should perch quite nicely down there, so I'm going to clear it up, and we'll make some space, and we'll see if it fits. We have ourselves a gap, very good, Let's see if we can it. And just like that, it sits in that gap there quite nicely. It can't go too far across because otherwise it gets in the way of the S12, which hangs down a bit. But certainly there, I can get the other cordless down very well. It doesn't get in the way of the Dyson, whenever that decides to get fixed. All looks rather good. So let me get plugged in and sorted out a little bit and ah, it now has a home in terms of daily use which is how it's been used normally it's really really good it was certainly coming out very black when i first started using it but now i've been using it very frequently it, it's just a dull gray dishwater it's got a very nice wide cleaning path the brush roll slash microfiber roller does make good contact with the floor. I would say that on stubborn bits and bobs, it's not quite enough, but I also fail to see how you can make that much better without you know, throttling it in some other way. But as you can see from in the hallway, it's, it's just lovely to push around and give the floors a really good clean. Doing under tight nooks and crannies, it's no worse than any other stick vacuum cleaner really. You, you've got to move the furniture or the carpets or the rugs to get the most out of it, but it will slide in and out of spaces. It'll pull dirt from the front fairly well if it can, and yeah, it's no more or less annoying than any other floor care appliance really. It does the job, 
its limitations are only what they are. As well as being excellent for the day-to-day -day cleaning, as I have found, I need to see what it's like at a bit more of a stickier mess test than last time. This is at the request of Tinko themselves, who say it should do quite well and seeing how it does day-to-day, -day, they might be right. Now, the test we did before was with just tomato ketchup, but I went shopping the other day, so we have, if I get out the bottle, ooh, some golden syrup. That's very sticky. Some straw, ooh, that came out quite fast. Some strawberry sauce. We have a yogurt. God, I hope this does get it all up. Of course, I've got to get the vax out. And then, you know, we can accidentally drop some breakfast cereal as well. Crikey. Um, yeah, let's go get the machine and hope it can get it all up. There is just one more thing that I want to put down and that is sunflower oil but only as a substitute for sun cream. Having two children and laminate floor, if you try to hit the sun cream one in the morning it goes everywhere and I don't want to use the sun cream because it's very expensive but obviously oil should be a good substitute because it's still sticky and greasy so the poor Tinko Needs to go through all this, so I shall leave it on auto. Auto mode. <laughs> Might go a bit slowly. Oh. My poor toy. Oh. So it's not quite a one pass through the golden syrup or the strawberry sauce but I think with a couple it should do it. It's got to flush the brush roll out as well. Ah. It's gone to max mode. All the golden syrup stuck to the brush roll. Come on. It's still there. But it's got it all, I think, with hot or warm water in the tank and some of the cleaning solution, actually just cold water, that probably would have done a lot better. And yeah, spotless. Once it broke down, the oil is gone, the golden syrup is gone, the jam's gone, not jam, sorry, strawberry sauce. Excellent. Well, I suppose it's now quite a... Ah go on to that in the floors. Quite a good chance for us to have a look at how filthy it is before it puts itself through a self-clean. Oh, so we'll come over onto this bit of carpet. Just in case it is dirty, I've turned the machine off and we shall have a look. So yes, again, lots of disgusting looking bile in there. That's fair enough. Filter, fairly clean. I did also discover that, that you can lift it off to get a really good scrub oh, in there. That smells of yoghurt and is not too nice. So there's that. We'll take the clean water tank out as well just so that we can see what we're doing. Now up here is a bit moist. Hopefully it's designed to cope with that and it's not overloading itself. Let's take this out. Now I have seen hair and grass get bound up around there. This is obviously what scrapes up against this roller and takes all the, well, some moisture off 
and the dirt. So that's quite clean. If we lift the roller out there, it's quite wet. Does stay quite damp this, which is fine if you're using it every day. It doesn't matter, and obviously it flushes itself through as it goes. But obviously, yeah, that's why you have the base to stand it on, so you don't sit it on your floor. Under here, though, yes, I've seen it do this a couple of times. It 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 does seem to like putting lots of dirt in there. See, the top is where the sprays come out, the water, and the bottom is where the dirty water goes. And yeah, it does like to get caught up in there, but equally, we have done that cleaning and then stopped. It does have not only its own cleaning cycle, but of course, if you were to carry on, you would probably flush it through enough to get away with it. I'm not going to do that because I'm... For the purpose of this video, we're going to try out its self-cleaning cycle, what with all of that dirt under there. So I'm going to empty this and fill this back up with clean water. And with some power applied to the dock and just clean water in the top and an empty rinsed out dirt bucket, we can dock it. Charging has commenced. Auto detecting whether to run self-cleaning cycle. Done. Please begin self-cleaning cycle. There we go. We will. And we'll see if this flushes it all through and cleans it out. that done oh ooh, it has left a few bits look it's flipped those out for sure we'll take the dirty water tank out which is filthy and inside here yes it is a lot cleaner not perfect but again just using it in general will make it you know come out very well the roller sees nice and clean doesn't smell of golden syrup or strawberry sauce, so I would say, yes, for big messes. Provided you use warm water and not cold, I think, just to help break it down. Very good indeed. This lovely mess is after an afternoon of Orbeez, those little rubbery water expandable pools. This thing got them right up. I used to hate all these because the Dyson really doesn't play nice with them. Straight suction bag cleaners are better just because they smash themselves up less as they travel through the tube. But the Tingo Floor one got them up straight away. 
no problems at all. The next one, uh, again, they just happened. Um, I filmed them hence why I'm doing a voice on this. is kinetic sound, the stuff that the Dyson V11 really doesn't like. I don't think this would like it to be like either. If it wasn't for the fact that the water just makes everything work really fine. And yeah, picks up all manner of horrible, disgusting, dry and wet materials. I mean, everything sat there very nicely, charging up where it should live. I suppose we should look at the, there are a couple of negative points about the Tinko Floor One S3. And there are not many. As a device, it is very, very good. But there's a few. And we're going to start with the app. And the app is very good. I don't have to show you on the phone because I can show you on the screen. But does seem to lack a few safety checks, i.e. we're charging now. And as you can see, the water tank is not sat on the machine and I could just press self-cleaning self and it starts off I was outside and was messing with the buttons and it did just that and all the water stayed at the bottom yeah it does confuse it somewhat also the labels on the app they're not sort of polished I mean if you look at the Pure One S12, it's got little graphs, you know, and funner buttons. The app for the Floor One S3 doesn't seem to be quite as polished and refined. Although, you know, it's all there and you can do everything. Aside from the app, again, relatively few and far between. If we turn it on... Come on. Obviously, the machine starts and stops with where the floor head is. Problem is, if you roll over the rug in a certain way, uh, it turns itself on. So I'm trundling it around the house. You've got to be careful. I just pick it up because it is a lot easier. So yeah, but again, I can't quite see how they're going to fix that short of making it really stiff to recline. Let's turn it off. You can only charge it via its two charging pads underneath the machine. Ooh, I probably shouldn't tip that up in case it's full of water, as I think it is. Yeah, it'll only charge on the dock, which is partly the same complaint that I and others had with the Pure One S12. You can only charge it when it stood on the wall in its dock. So yeah, you can't just plug a battery into this. It doesn't have a removable battery like the Vax One Power Range and Shark and whatnot, where you can just take the battery off and tuck it on the side in your kitchen, which is better for people like me, I have to say. But on the flip side, it makes perfect sense because it has to be on the dock in you know, to be able to clean itself. That dock is also its tray. So, yeah, it could be a pain, but you've got to be prepared to have to put its dock somewhere to sit on. And literally, that is as petty as I am getting in here. I've seen the top bit there damp before, but, you know, it hasn't stopped working yet. I have not treated it anything specially. In fact, it gets used, especially with Little Phoenix. Oh yeah, Phoenix? Because the thing that I have to care about now, of course, is that this little championship squeaker, the little birdie eggs, which is why we have the one power lying around now. Oh, there you go. You're going down there. And yeah, this thing has literally, I use it with water because I'm not quite sure the chemicals that Tinko use, if they are parrot safe, because obviously parrots can be quite notoriously bad. I use it with water. It sits there full up. Every day, because I'm lazy, it gets emptied when it needs, but then it just goes straight back into use, because, yeah, birdie egg on the laminate, whoosh, out with this. And what the way I clean it, and I have been cleaning it for several months now, is every Sunday, I will do the washing up, and then when I've done the washing up, I will grab all of this stuff, oh, bye Phoenix, sorry, grab all of this stuff and wash it up as well, and leave it out to dry. So, the filter currently looks like this after three months of use obviously the mesh does a good job of catching the fine stuff 
the back seems okay. Again, this gets swooshed around in water, bit of a brush up, and goes on the radiator for the rest of the day, ready for the next. In here is okay. You use the brush that comes with it. It's all staying fairly clean. It does start to smell a bit if you, you know, leave it full of stagnant water for a couple of days. I have found that out. The water tank, it's a bit of a shame that you can't actually empty it because, yeah, there's been times where I wanted to clean this out and leave it upside down to drain. But you can't do it. Sort of understandable, I suppose. You know, it is what it is. Yeah, it's been really good. Brush roll, you go. Currently looks like this. I haven't done a cleaning cycle for a while and it's okay. Does the job. The roller, this is the original roller. I've not used any of the spares and it's a bit wet. But hey, it's still perfectly fine. Zero problems. I just pull that bit off to wash. It's a bit of a shame that the bearing isn't attached to this because you end up getting this bearing wet when you wash it. Now you can pop off the rubber cap and stick a few drops of oil in it. You probably should. The other end is zero signs of wear at all so i'll push that bit back on there and drop this in here so yeah longevity seems very good of course i only have laminate flooring so if you have quarry tiles you might go through them a bit faster oh this isn't terribly intuitive but equally again it's an area that you'll be a bit closer than me on there we go like so. That's what I mean about the thing. You can't, it's very little pressure required to put it down. I suppose if I'm being really pedantic, when it goes up, you have to be precise. If you're, you know, cleaning and, you know, just wanting to stick it up, if you do it at a slight angle, you can't. You have to be, you just have to put some thought into it, which is what you should do to everything, really. So, Thank you very much, Tinko, for sending me this machine. It has been a joy to use and review. And yeah, top marks, 100% works very well. In line with the competition, well, it's that's possibly where this goes a little bit downhill because these, they have their price. I am not going to comment on the pricing because it's probably going to change. There's going to be offers. It will vary depending on country. But this thing has its cost. Its cost is more than its competitors. Cannot gloss over that. As well as this works, I, I cannot help but believe that for the extra money, all you get is the LCD and the Wi-Fi. I'm sure that the competition do work very well. But... Again, unlike the competition, this is a very nice package. It has some good features. The auto clean is very good. It always seems to want doing just when you fill this up with the expensive solution. I prefer to have just water in this when I clean it through because it's, it's, it's just less wasteful. So, rambling over, it has survived three months, which I'm quite impressed with. Although saying that the floor one has as the, the floor one, my pure one S12 have, and unlike my pure one S12, this does not have a bit of a fatal flaw, i.e. on the pure one S12. Obviously it's filtration, it doesn't let any dirt through, but it clogs itself up to the point of being unusable. This doesn't. Certainly the filter works very well. I've used this when I've moved the furniture where there's been like proper dusty dust. Nothing. It keeps itself really clean. So Definitely a Beko buy, even though I did not pay for this. If I was in the market for one, I most certainly would consider it. I'd probably buy it, because it does work very well. Everybody that's come round has liked it. I shall keep you updated on what happens, because it, it's been out a few places. I took it to my mother's after the end of lockdown one, before lockdown two, and yeah, she hadn't long moved into her little bungalow yet, and we did the hard floor in the kitchen, the tiles in the conservatory, and the laminate in the bathroom, and my goodness, it came out black. <gasps> she was shocked. So yeah, definitely can get the job done if you need. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed. I'll try and do another review video in time. And of course, if anything happens to this, goes wrong, breaks, needs replacing, we shall cover it and see what that side of the process is like. Because I cannot lie, I have, you know, on the social media, 
People do ask where you can get spares for these, and they never seem to be on the Tinko website. You can get them on Amazon. I've seen them. I, I haven't got any links at the minute. Possibly the only caveat, I've, you know, they are very dependent on Amazon listings rather than their own website. Make of that what you will. So, for now, I and the Tinko Floor 1 S3 will see you soon. Bye-bye.